It's been next to impossible to get a decent interest rate on your savings in Ireland over the last 10 to 15 years. But things are starting to change. The ECB has increased its base rate significantly over the last few months and that may soon filter its way into the deposit interest rates that you're seeing on your accounts. Also another change that we have seen in Ireland is we have a lot more access to the European market in terms of our options. So our options have definitely grown over the last couple of years. Not everybody wants to invest their money in the likes of the stock market, especially if people who are saving for the likes of mortgages. You don't want to have all of your hard earned savings just wiped out within a couple of weeks or months. We have seen some stocks go down as much as 60 to 90% over the last year, which is absolutely crazy. So in this video, I have compiled a leaderboard of all of the different providers that are available to us in Ireland at the moment to just show you what kind of interest rates are out there for 2023 and this will obviously be continuously changing and I will have a leaderboard that you can access at any time on my website I will leave a link to it down in the description section if you ever want to come back to it again as well as this I'm going to briefly cover what the tax situation is on deposit interest both on deposits that you have in Ireland and maybe deposits that you have say in the EU or non-EU countries. So the company logos that you are seeing on screen now this is where I have pulled all of my information from. If I have someone missed out on any provider that are offering a decent rate please let us know in the comment section as well I would like to add it to the leaderboard. I may have overlooked one. So the criteria that I am going with here is is somebody who wants to put their money into a safe place and have literally no downside risk at all which you cannot get with the likes of the stock market you're always going to have some downside risk for there to be absolutely no downside risk then these accounts also need to be protected by deposit guarantee schemes there is a deposit guarantee scheme that kind of covers most of the banks and credit institutions across europe that covers people up to 100,000 euro we're only going to look at institutions and providers that are covered by this guarantee and we're also going to rule out any types of say commodity accounts say such as say a gold saver account because there is potential downside risk with gold the price can obviously decrease as well so here is the top half of the leaderboard in total i have nine different companies and i will show you the different rates and explain the different terms and conditions of each one as well um, so on top of the leaderboard at the moment you can access this through raisin.ie raisin.ie basically allows you to access many different european banks i just want to add a really big disclaimer over raisin bank so Raisin Bank, as you see here, has the top three uh, places on the leaderboard, um, but that does not mean that they are a great place to go with. I've just put them on the top because they're offering the highest interest rates, um, but just be very wary of it because Raisin Bank really is just a marketplace. So while they are quoting good rates for different banks, Raisin Bank are sitting in the middle between you and that bank. Based on the reviews online, they only have a score of 3.8 out of 5 on Trustpilot, which is not very good to be honest. The main problem that people keep on reporting from reading these reviews is that they have really bad customer service and for that reason I myself personally would not try them out. There seems to be issues where people just not getting any response at all from customer service for literally two or three weeks which is really not good enough when it comes to someone looking after your money. So just be careful and know that there probably is a bit of added risk and something that you might end up pulling your hair with out in the future is it really worth that extra like say one or two percent that you're going to get probably not let's go through some of the terms and conditions of all of these um, providers that are offering the higher rates so the first one on the list here at the moment is united and they are a french provider united are offering you a five-year fixed term at 3.35 percent aer most importantly this account is covered by a deposit guarantee scheme but your funds are locked up for the five years and you do not get your interest until the maturity of the five year term. As well as that the minimum amount that you can invest here is €2,000. So even though you are getting a pretty good rate there with United that might not suit a lot of people because most people probably don't want to have their money locked up for that long. If we go down to the second one on the leaderboard now which is Private Banker, uh, they are a Slovakian bank and they have slightly more favorable terms but at a lower rate so their fixed term is for one year um, you get the interest in at maturity again and um, but this is a 5k minimum investment again this is covered by a deposit guarantee scheme as well third on the leaderboard as well which can be accessed through raisin is banco portuguese de Gessau, which are offering a rate of 2.65 percent but the minimum investment here is 10,000 euro 
you can get your money back here at any time it's just a one year term again but if you do uh, terminate it early you will lose out on the interest trade republic then are coming in at fourth on the list they are basically a german investment broker that have recently entered the irish market and they will offer you a two percent interest rate on any uninvested cash that you hold with them and the beauty of it is there's no fixed term or any additional charges um, for say depositing money onto trade republic or anything like that so there's no real catch i think it's more of a kind of promotional thing for them at the moment to try and build customers so it might be a good one to avail of bunk is another fintech company that has entered the irish market kind of like a neobank again something similar to like the likes of uh, revolut um and they are offering 1.31% to their customers, even if you have the free account. Um, so there won't be any charges at all to save with them because they do have some different account levels where you have to say, pay so much every month. But even on the free account, you still get the 1.31% interest. Now we are down onto the bottom half of the leaderboard and we're seeing some more of the traditional banks here. Um, also we have the Irish state savings here coming in at place number seven. Permanent TSB have a five-year fixed term account where you can get 1.25% interest. If you want to buy some Irish bonds, you can get the 10-year national solidarity bond. That gives you a rate of 0.96%. The only real positive about that is the interest that you earn is completely tax-free, um, but you are locking up your funds there for a very long time in 10 years. AIB then have a personal fixed term deposit account at 12 month one um, but the minimum investment here into that account is actually 15,000 euro just to get a rate of 0.5% which is not great. And then last on the list here we have Bank of Ireland with their gold saver account they will give you a rate of just 0.25% um, the minimum investment here is like 20 euro and the max monthly investment is like 2,000 euro so uh, uh, there's no real restrictions there but the rate is pretty low you're not going to see much interest for that. So that's pretty much the leaderboard now you can keep an eye on it as the months pass through the year i'll keep updating it um have a look at irishfinancial.ie if you want to to keep track of it so before we finish up then i just want to briefly touch on what tax you have to pay on your deposit interest um deposit interest retention tax or dirt is 33 percent in ireland um if you have your money with some irish financial institution they're going to automatically deduct that 33 percent um, off your interest before they actually pay it into your account so in most cases it is deducted at source in the vast majority of cases you will not have to pay any further tax on top of this 33 percent dirt only in cases when you have unearned income of greater than five thousand euro in a year where you have to pay another four percent psi on top of that unearned income is basically any income that you generate where it didn't require any work so that would be like the likes of yeah dividends interest investment and rents and lastly what about deposit interest that you earn from accounts that are based in other eu countries or even outside of the eu so you still have to pay at the dirt of 33 percent on that interest income they do have an additional charge here though if you are late in actually paying that tax the tax rate increases from 33% to 40% if the income tax return is not done on time. And lastly, as we have touched on already, state savings products are tax free. So any interest that you earn on any of the Irish kind of bonds, the national solidarity bonds or the savings certificates, any of that interest is completely tax free. So that's pretty much it for today's video and uh, thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would really appreciate it if you would drop a like on the video and as well subscribe to the channel just so you'll be able to keep an eye on my future videos